Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Travel Tech. So in one of my previous videos, you saw the unboxing and features of the Woodman Robo X9 Android car stereo unit. In this video, I'll be showing you a detailed overview of the entire settings of the entire UI of the Woodman Robo X9 so that you better understand the unit, the stereo system and you make the right decision about purchasing it or not. So this video is going to be a tad bit long. So sit back, relax, watch the video and decide if this is the right Android car system for you. So let's get started. So this is the first look of the Woodman Robo X9 unit and I have now installed it in my car and after using it for all these days, I think this is a really excellent device to use in your car. So first of all, let's start up with showing you the home launcher. So this is an Agama car launcher and I personally prefer this launcher because this suits any car interface and it provides you all the information which you need and the entire home screen is customizable which means you can change any of the options which are currently being displayed right here. So starting with the center console, as you can see, this is a compass in the middle. So if you just want to change it, you can just click on that and you have so many other options. You can either display the logo of your car or if you don't want the logo, you want the navigation to show up in the middle. You have the navigation option. Following this, you have the compass as shown before. Then you also have a music player, which will display the thumbnail of the current song being played by the music player. Following that, you have the speedometer. So once the GPS connects, now since my car is currently standing under a building, the unit is not able to catch GPS. But once I go out into the open road, the GPS signal will catch and it is going to show you the live speed in the middle of the console. And lastly, you have a clock right here. Well, you won't be needing it because you already have a digital clock on top. But if you're someone who prefers an analog clock and the date and day being displayed, you also have that in the center console. Now here on top you can see the 4G logo and this system supports dual SIM which means you can have two SIMs together and you won't be running out of network. So this is the GPS logo and now it is currently showing as 3. So this means 3 satellites are currently caught on GPS. So this is the current temperature and here is the voice control. Following that the auto brightness setting finally the settings of the system. You have certain other options such as radio, navigation, music phone internet and apps all of these are customizable and you can change it to any other app and you can change the names of those buttons as well so what i personally liked about this agama car launcher is once you head into the settings so as you can see there are three options in the design menu and uh, let me just go ahead and zoom in to show you more better so this is so these are the three options the theme editor theme presets and theme editor options now this is the one which i like personally the theme presets option this presents you with the preset theme and you can choose any among those what you can do is just click on any of the themes which i have provided right here so for example this is our black ag so if i just click on that the theme of the device changes and now it is full black with the orange colored buttons and orange color dash as you can see the second clock is being ticked by the orange color here also there is an next option called the red carbon now this converts the system into red and black following this you have the green light again this is the brown luxury option following this you have the material contrast then elegant so i use this at night and lastly here is the good day option which was shown initially so you can select any of these presets so let's head on to the black ag and just click on the apply button so here you go the black preset is now applied and it shows up the home screen in that particular preset now i really like this because this interface this agama car launcher interface on the woodman robo x9 gives you a really professional feel makes you feel like this was provided by the oem by the car company and this is not a third party installation also guys talking about the form factor and the finish so as you can see the frame was provided by woodman and if you can see there is no difference between the frame which was originally present by honda company and the one which the woodman has provided there is no gap or improper fixation the frame is perfect fit for my car and of course it will be a perfect fit for any of the car for which you are going to order and this frame doesn't look like it is a third party frame this looks oem this looks as if it has come from the company following this i need to tell you some really useful features which woodman has now implemented in this woodman robo x9 and one of the important features is the voice control so if i just click on the voice control navigate to bangalore so as you can see the google assistant works flawlessly well you just have to give it a voice command and the 4g connection built in make sure that you are connected to the internet and the maps open up automatically and everything happens by itself you don't have to do anything currently it has already opened up google maps and finding the best route and there you go the maps navigation has opened up and it is currently navigating to bangalore so i didn't touch the unit at all i just clicked on the voice control button and 
ask the google assistant to do the particular job and it's done really well also the processing is pretty fast for a car system and currently by far based on what i have seen this is one of the fastest responding units in the car systems so let's head back onto the home screen and uh, show you some of the other interesting things so one of the most interesting and one of the most user friendly or should i say convenient features which woodman has now provided is there is a scroll down bar at top so as you can see once you scroll down there are certain options now provided and they are easily accessible by anyone so let me just go ahead and zoom in so there is a wi-fi option if you want the unit to connect to wi-fi so there is a specific eye comfort mode which means at evenings if you click on this it will give a yellow tint on the screen your eyes won't get strained much while looking at the system at night if you want you can disable that following this you have the data option which is a 4g sim option so as you can see i have enabled the data this airplane mode if you want to remove all connections there is an off screen button now this is really important because while driving at night the system display might be a bit distracted so if you want to turn off the screen just click on that and the whole screen turns off if you want to turn it on just tap on the display and the display comes back on so that's it and along with that there is a clean memory option so if you want multiple apps running on the unit you can first clean memory and do that then following that there is a standby option and there is a reboot option given right here if you drag down the menu a bit more there is a brightness bar right here so you just have to scroll all the way to the forward for the maximum brightness and scroll all the way down for the brightness there is also a scissor mark right here this is a screenshot option so if you click on that the unit is going to take a screenshot of the current display which is being shown on the unit as you can see here is the current screenshot and now you can save the screenshot or you can take a long screenshot or you can cancel completely you can also crop the screenshot based on your requirement so i'll just click on the cancel button following this you have the settings android settings option right on top so this is the android settings menu and on top you have the wireless lan so if you click on wireless lan you can enable or disable the lan or connect it you have the data usage option so this monitors the data so currently as you can see it shows as 688 mb has been used so i'll just head back then following that there is a sim info so currently i have inserted only one sim which is an airtel sim but this supports dual sim so as you can see there is a sim slot one and a sim slot two option following this there is a hotspot and tethering option which can which means you can create a hotspot out of this unit there is an airplane mode and a vpn mode following this let's head down to the device settings so here is a display option if you click on the display there is a brightness level which you can adjust separately for day and night so as you can see the brightness light is set at maximum for 100 and the brightness night is set at zero so you can do that there is a wallpaper option then an auto black screen option so auto black screen means basically turn off the screen after the certain amount of time has passed so you can select it to never and starting from 30 seconds up to 30 minutes you can select that there is also a display net switch option so if you just click on that it is going to show you the current internet speed that the current 4g speed now this is really useful because someone who wants to know if the current internet connection is working or not you will get a net speed monitor on top of the notification bar that's also a very convenient feature following this you have the sound options if you click on the sound option there is a keypad tone option if you turn it on so as you can see it gives a specific keypad tone whenever you touch any screen option but currently i have disabled it so let's keep it at disabled so you can turn on the video loudness or turn it off there is an amp option there is a power conditioning option there are options for subwoofer levels if you have attached a subwoofer there is a equalizer present so you have the equalizer option there is a field you can select which area of the car you want the audio to concentrate and then you have the surround sound option the stereo sound enhancement the bass enhancement and sound filter many audio options are present for those who are into such stuff then you have the speed compensated volume so you can vary the sound based on the speed so currently i have set it at off so these are many of the options present in the sound segment following this you have the gps option you have both the gps and the glonass and it shows the longitude and latitude position gps status number of gps positioning satellites glonass satellite quality the time and the auto sync so you have mode one and mode two in order to enable the gps following that you have the storage option so let's head down into the storage section so as you can see it shows 11.83 gb used out of 32 gb and currently close to 12 gb has been used so there is a store manager which you can enable or disable in this you have option to remove photos and videos which are over 90 days old so many of the options are really good and they are very convenient for the usage following this you have the apps option so if you head into the apps it is going to show you the list of all the apps which are installed into the unit 
So following this you have the USB video output setting and USB device start. Following this the into the general settings press any key to start option is present and then just turned it on. Auto start navigation this means the navigation is going to start automatically as soon as you turn on the car or turn on the device. There is OSD time, mirror view on reverse image, mute audio when reversing. Now you can turn it off or you can turn it on. Now currently I have set it off and sound reduction when reversing. Now this is also a very useful option. Whenever you put on the reverse gear, the sound will automatically reduce down to the level which you have set or you can completely turn it off based on your control. There is a backlight control, default volume switch, default boot volume, GPS mix, sound mixing scale, lantern settings, steering wheel settings is basically where you can set the steering wheel buttons to work with the system. So all of the steering wheel buttons do work with this and that's also a really cool thing. So default Navi app, you can select either the maps or you can select any of the other apps if you want, if you have downloaded any of the other navigation maps, then you can also map data copy. So you can copy any of the map data which might have been provided. There are factory settings for which you need a specific password. Following that you have a user settings where you can alter the location settings. So as you can see here is the location. Now currently it is turned on. Following this you have the security option where you can enable any of the find my device option. You have the Google play protect option or the SIM card lock option and such options as such. Following this you have the language and input where you can add any extra keyboard if you want and certain options which are related to the language and input. Then you have the Google settings, you have the backup and reset for the system. Then you have the account where you can log in or log out from your specific Google account. Lastly guys, into the system settings, you have the date and time option. You can change the date and time. You have the accessibility option. You have the developer options as well. Again, this too needs a specific password. Then you have the about device option. So currently, as you can see, this is a very important section and I need you guys to see this. So this is the Android 10 version and the CPU is an octa core 1.6 gigahertz at 2 GB memory plus 32 GB storage. In the system info, as you can see, it is a 1280 into 720p display. Following this, you have the device info option, which provides you with the IMEI number of the SIM cards inserted. So these are the Android settings provided. And now if you head into the app section of the unit, so as you can see, here is the Agama car launcher. Then you have an aux connection. There is a dedicated app store for the unit itself. From this app store, you can install any of the themes or home screens which you require. You have subsections at the bottom for themes and system apps. So if you click on the system, it just shows you the system apps which need to be updated. And if you click on the theme, it shows you a list of the themes which you can download and install in your car unit. There is a Google Assistant option, the Bluetooth option. The CPU-Z app is the one which I have installed. You have a calculator and you have a CarLink 2.0 for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now this unit supports wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. There is a CarBitLink app also installed. You have Google Chrome for browsing the internet. You have Disney Plus Hotstar if you want to watch movies. You have an equalizer and then you have the file manager, gallery, Gmail app, the Google app, Google Maps. You have a default music player. You have a default navigation. If you just click on that, it goes into the Google Maps because we have selected Google Maps as the default navigation. Following this, you have Netflix, you have an operation guide. There is Google Play Store, you can install any of the Android apps into the system. Then you have the Amazon Prime Video, you have a radio. Following this, you have the Android settings, you have Spotify for music, you have Topol Voice, Topol Plus, Touch Assistant, Vehicle Settings, Stock Video Player, Voice Search and YouTube. And if I just click on YouTube, as you can see, YouTube opens up instantly. You have an instant connection via a 4G network and you can play videos while on the go if your data plan supports it. So this was the overview, a simple overview of the Woodman Robo X9 unit. And I think the display is very crisp and vibrant and the color level is pretty much very accurate. You have touch capacitive buttons here on the left. You have the volume down, volume up, back button, home button and the power button. Following this, you also have a mic slot and a reset slot right here on the left corner of the screen. The Woodman Robo X9 has really impressed me for the limited time that I have been using it in my car and I'm seriously considering keeping it for myself. The main advantage is being it has a built-in 4G SIM which means I don't have to hassle around taking out my smartphone, starting a hotspot and then connecting the unit using Wi-Fi. The built-in 4G network starts almost immediately and you have zero lag in the internet connection since it's on a 4G network. So playing songs, getting live traffic updates on maps and navigation is something which all of us want in our car at a pretty instance. Also the voice control feature is really thoughtful because we never have to take our hands off the steering wheel and we can just say the things out loud and the Android system is going to do the rest. I'll be bringing up follow-up videos of this based on my long-term usage of this unit and also I'll be bringing up a detailed video comparing the Woodman Robo X9 unit with just the X9 unit. 
well some of you might get confused because both the units are somewhat named similarly but the one which i have showed you in my video is a robo x9 and the other one is just a x9 which comes at a slightly lesser price so stay tuned for that video because i'll be bringing up a detailed comparison so that you'll be able to decide should you shell out a bit more of money and buy the robo x9 rather than the slightly cheaper x9 variant so that's it this was the video for today i hope you liked it and in case if you did make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button thank you for watching and until next one see ya